Conquest mode. Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Fractured Space with me, the Gerald Claw. So today I'm going to be playing in the Aegis. Aegis is a pretty damn good ship. It's one of the new ones from the Phase 2 expansion or I guess update. It's not really an expansion. Um, and it's a very good heavy support capital ship. I know it says that it's a heavy defense one but it should really be classed as a heavy support because of its fantastic support abilities. Um, on the next, this is also a new matchmaker by the way. I don't know if you saw my last uh, live stream on Fractured Space. I think it was two play episode four, uh, where I just did some Fractured Space. Uh, but this is where I first seen. If you haven't seen that, this is the new one. It's quite an improvement over the old one. You've got a lot of sorting options so that you can uh, choose by the specialist. Apparently there's only two defensive ones on the USR, which didn't really occur to me at first, but I suppose there is. Um, but yeah, this is the new one, you now get a, a choice of how, or like skin and uh, effects mod. So let's go ahead and use the red one, why not? They're pretty awesome. And you can also choose your crew here and your different abilities. But there isn't one for the ages at the moment, they're all standard. So there's no variant or anything, um, but you can do that. You can also view the map. So you can see now it will tell you before the match has started what alpha is going to be, what beta is going to be, uh, which is pretty cool. So you don't have to jump into the different lanes and check. Um, also, you might notice my navigator is a wonderful captain called Rutolf. He was a special event. Um, crew member that you got for playing during the Christmas season 2016. But as you can see here I've got a rather nice fancy skin for the Aegis. Um, I've been told by people that this is actually a really rare skin. Um, I bet very very few people have got it if not well, yeah just very few people have got it so far. Which is pretty awesome. I just found it in a drop pod like with third or second game after getting the Aegis which was pretty awesome. I've been really lucky with getting skins and pods now that I mention it because I got the Interceptor Ultimate skin like the uh, the named one I forget what it's called but the one where it's all like black and green and looks really awesome. I actually found that one. I really liked that skin. That was one I was actually considering getting even though I didn't uh, put even though I didn't like play the Interceptor much but uh, I'm glad I found it in a, in a skin so I might play it a couple times whenever I feel like a change. Sorry about that cut there. Um, jumping into Alpha. Uh, so where was I? Um, I think I mentioned Rudolf. Or Rudolf, sorry. Um, he doesn't like to be called Rudolf. So don't tell him I said that. Fortunately we're only his captain so he probably won't do anything to me. Someone else apparently is having being annoyed by his chatting. Oh man, he's got iron drains on him. There's an infiltrator around here somewhere. Okay, now I could blink in, but I don't think I want to do that because I saw that brawler there. I'm trying to stay up, keeping my arms length. I'm gonna open that on him. Oh, 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 I might be able to get a big boost here. Oh no, it ran out just before that happened. I think. Oh, that sucked. Should have been slightly smarter about how I dealt with that. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I don't really care about you. Go! Go hunt some invisible people. Oh my god, that ball is getting so wrecked. I, I want to back off now. Get! Yup! Stay there! Stay right there! Just hold him still. Hold him still. Hold him still, you'll be fine. Yeah! Nope. Oh, are you gonna pull me in? Are you gonna pull me in, Mr. Brawler? You really wanna pull me in? Are you sure you wanna pull me in? Yeah, I didn't think so. I think that's mostly vocal because you couldn't, more than not wanting to. Screw you, in, uh, Infiltrator, I saw you. Uh oh. Point defense. Oh, I don't know why I point defense. I don't really care about missiles anymore. I'm that kind of ship now. 
I can just tank and boom, get a shit ton of energy. <laughs> Alright there, Hunter. Uh, you're still around, huh? Oh, I got my ball friend, I think. I think that's my ball friend coming in. Oh, hi there. No, you cannot escape. I have tracking weaponry. The most bullshit weaponry in the game. Oh, I'm gonna have to accept these missiles, I think. Just, they're gonna happen. Yep, there they go. They just happened. Okay, I'm gonna just sit back here. I know that interceptors or that infiltrators coming after me. I'm not too concerned about his big boom because I can just. Uh, oh, is there something near me? There he is, it's a Colossus. Uh, but I can just uh, tell it to F off. Let's see if I can just help out that ball of friend with my own supporting fire and defensive measures. See, this is why it's such a great support ship. Like, it's just area of denial and protection. Like, I can protect that guy and use it for my own ends. It's just amazing. You're gonna boom me now. Okay, don't really care about it. Oh, I might care about it in a second. <laughs> bail, bail, bail. Oh, bail, bail, bail. Stay alive. Hopefully he won't see me. If he sees me, I'm dead. He didn't see me. Excellent. Good work, everybody. I'm now heading into beta because uh, they kind of look like in trouble. I kind of need an upgrade though, so I'm going to have to grab that. Now my projector has like an optimum of 15k and a max range of uh, 30k ish, give or take a little bit. I'm saying that mostly for my own benefit because I need to remember how much it is. Um, yeah, that's that really. So I didn't want to use it there because I knew everyone was going to be jumping out and like they'd get out of the way of a bubble before it happened. And it's amazing here at Gas because I can just aim it down the middle there where everyone usually congregates and just blow lock them up or force them to move. Oh, hi there, Centurion. I'm just going to use it now. I know there's a paladin there. Yeah, look at him go. He knows what I'm doing. He might be in voice comms. Or he's just lucky. He just knew when to move. Uh, fortunately, I don't really care too much about the Centurion. Like, because I can just do that. And just get a shit ton of stuff back. It pushes me out of the area, which is annoying. Oh, I can't get, I can't get lock on him. Yeah, got him just about. Okay, let's just project. I'm gonna project up here in this general direction. There's a lot of people there. Oh, I should have let it fall a little bit. And I can't quite get that radar. I can't get your radar. Got three seconds. Last three seconds for me, buddy. Nice one, Raider. Oh, I'll be shooting that infiltrator. That's probably a good idea. Actually, even more of a better idea. Shoot that brawler down. He's gonna be killing a lot of us. Oh, come on, come on. Not like this, not like this. Okay, it's just the heavies now, it looks like, on our team. Uh, so, I think we can get rid of these, this infiltrator at the very least. Especially if I keep tracking it right. Oh, this Centurion's going to be a problem because I can't actually defend against this one. I can defend you against it, though. Yep. Okay, I'm getting out of here now. Oh, so the Centurion. Oh, okay, that was close. Uh, I will head back into Alpha because that's my lane. And that was a very good job done. That could have been smoother, but fortunately we managed to get it. The, two he the fact we've got two heavies really helps, especially since one of them is a Colossus. Uh, they're just invaluable at Gamma. 
I think Aegis and either Colossus or Centurion is just the best combination at Gamma. Because you can just deny everyone even getting into the bubble. You can just mess up their formation so much. Now, using my accelerator here is a bit overkill. Um, had I used it as soon as I realised I could have, I probably would have killed that paladin. Because he would start jumping over here, I'd have no idea what was coming and wouldn't be able to escape it. Uh, but I'm okay with how that happened. Okay, so I'm just going to help out my Colossus buddy here. By making sure that that brawler takes a shit ton of damage. And by shielding him a little bit. I'm going to blink up there. Colossus will get mid, I'll grab the near one. Uh, he might get away. Nah, it's fine. I was concerned about that baller getting away from the Colossus while hiding behind the rock, but I was in such a good position I could shoot him even if he did hide there. Uh, do I want to go help Beta? I think Beta should be alright. The Superlifter should be able to keep the brawler up, and the Raider should definitely be able to help take out any pesky people down there. They do have a Centurion over there, which could be a pain. But I think they're going to be mostly worried about us charging down this lane to be too worried about doing anything to those guys. Okay, unfortunately I can't heal this dude or blink to him or anything, but I can use my blink boy to approach. Oh, I don't think I will, because I've just seen what's just jumped in. I'm going to shoot that in him. And hopefully that's the first thing these guys have known about me in this area. Then I can just kind of surround my Colossus in this ball of death of the enemy. And hopefully he can live long enough for this to be worth it. I'm going to try and keep him supported. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god, look at that. 6k damage on that brawler. 6k damage mostly from that giant mouth also I protruded onto him. You can do it, Brawler. You can do it. You got this. You got this. You got this. I'll let you deal with Hyperion, because I can't really get a good angle on him. Oh, so good. No, my buddy. My pal. Uh-oh. Bail, bail, bail. Where am I blinking to? I have no idea where I'm blinking to. Here? What the hell? Oh, okay. I'm fine. Excellent. Bail, bail, bail. Bail, bail, bail. Now, I know they could probably just ion boom me. But, uh, again, not worried about that because of my transference shield. Uh, careful, me. They may be going your way. Okay, I always like to say that just in case, because if I don't say that, then Beta could get in trouble. Like an awful lot of trouble, really quickly. Looks like I was right to say that, I think the infiltrator's gone to their side. I saw someone spooling up, but I don't know who that was. Uh, a little bit of heals, or protection I guess. Oh, this could be good. Uh, depending on whether or not they engage, I might fire my projector. Or my accelerator. Yeah, I'm doing it. He's booming. He can't move. That ball is going... That ball is not learning. That's where he's running a little bit, he's trying to get out. Oh, no he's not. Nope, he's, he's stayed in that a lot longer than he should have. Okay, I'll keep firing on him, that Colossus is in a lot of trouble though. Uh, he, yeah, he's not getting out of that one. Damn. That sucked. Fortunately that Paladin's running away and he's leaving the brawler here. So, oh, are you pulling me in? You are. 
So yeah, you don't want to do that, buddy. <laughs> I think you've just realised that. I think he's jumping home to deal with the threat at base. <laughs> Which has, like, they've just overthrown the base. I hope they can get out. Because if they can't get out, that's a bad thing for us. If I, if they, they look like they're dying, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna cap this and then go to Gamma. Okay, the Colossus is there. I think they're trying to jump out, some of them. Nope, nope, looks like they're all just, they're just fighting it. We're going to Gamma. Even though the Colossus went to Alpha. Hopefully our level advantage will be enough. And yeah, I'm guessing that Colossus jumped into Alpha and then was come, gonna come to help me in Alpha because he thought I was gonna jump in. I thought better of it. Because if I encounter significant resistance here, I might just bail on Gamma. Because there's no point in dying. But, this guy is... Hold that thought. I was about to say he's alone, I just heard someone jump in. Yeah, very awful. Oh, be careful, dude. Be very careful, dude. Uh-oh. First round, boys! Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Boom. Protection. Don't really care too much about you, Brawler. Uh, I'm gonna sort of last over there. Okay, not nearly as far as I was hoping. Oh dear. Oh yes! This could be good. Uh, not really. Never mind, I didn't really... Oof! Damn it. I was hoping that would push me out. Oh dear. I've been disabled. My blue are disabled. I'm using this on myself because they're getting smart and they know they should take me out first. But the Aegis is only good as long as people know that they... Uh, uh, shouldn't, should, as long as people don't know to shoot me, I'm good. But the second they know you should focus on Aegis down, it's, it's pretty terrible. Because unless you've got support, there's not too much you can do. You can hold up for quite a long time with the shield. And your weapons are pretty damn good. But if they're a heavy ship or an evasive ship at close range, then you just can't really do too much about them. We might still be able to get this gamma though. Well, looks like it, because the Colossus just was not taking any damage. Okay, also we've got this gamma. I'm gonna jump in to gamma as soon as I spawn. Hopefully be able to save whoever's left. It might just be the Colossus alone in there. Oh god, now it's a hard decision. Okay, yeah, I'm going in now. It was a slightly difficult to see him because I saw that Colossus jumping out and I couldn't see anyone else in there. Only on the map. Oh, this guy's just out of range. And he's in range. Excellent. That projector has a range of 17 and a half. So it's always good to make double check the range on someone when you're going to fire it on them. And back to lanes. So only two people made it out with the Gamma. But given our effectiveness at countering them, that might be enough. Okay, I don't have to upgrade or heal. So I'm going to go ahead and help my Colossus buddy out. Let's give him a little transference shield. Ah, that's given me enough of a projector already. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I don't know if it's, uh, it might hit the brawler. I don't know if the brawler will die before it hits. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, yeah, he's, that should kill him. But yeah. Definitely with a Colossus there to help him. Do I go high? I might go high again because I like not being noticed when people jumped in. Okay, we've earned a refit. Get to a station. Okay, so we've got level 9, which is good. This might be a bit too high. They might notice me. I'm also, this is probably a bad position. I can't really get a projector on someone immediately. Okay, now I can. 
I put it on the super lift because I'm assuming he's going to be taking the most damage. I'll keep myself positioned back here so that I can uh, push back to the right if I need to. Okay, so they're going for a back cap. I'm okay with that because two of our people have got gamma. If they want to race us, we'll win it. Especially given the level difference. So I'm going to go ahead and hit up a defense so I can last in the area longer. I very rarely get to level 9 in the Aegis. A lot of games tend not to go that far. Uh, but when I do, it completely depends on the situation what I choose. Oh, did I not get anyone? Oh, that sucks. Utility is always good because the more often you can use your transference projector, the better. But attack is also a viable option as its defense. Okay, transferred. Let's just kind of move my gun sort of down this way a little bit. So yeah, that guy's gonna have a bit of trouble. Might even hit the brawler on its way in. Yeah, do a little bit of token damage to that guy. Colossus, I can't tell if he's... Okay, I couldn't tell if he was behind the area or not. Open fire on a brawler because he's all I can really see. Until now, the Paladin has exposed himself again. The brawler's coming after me. I'll just go ahead and do that and then fire off that. To blink me out of the way a little bit. And then start up the projector and shoot in this general direction. Boom. Okay, I'm in a lot of trouble. Do not do what I am doing. If you can avoid doing what I'm doing, that would be great. I'm just trying to dodge. I've got some friends. And I'm trying to protect them as best I can. But that paladin, as long as he's alive, we're in trouble. Same with that brawler. We need to get away from him. Okay, that should kill him. Yeah. Excellent. GG, everyone. Well played. So, a big key to playing the Aegis is just staying away from being alone. Make sure you have some one to protect. Make sure you can sort of stay off to the sidelines. If you can hold back, that's great. If you're trying to fight an Aegis, keep putting them under pressure. Uh, you have to sort of gang up on them. Brawler's a good option, so is the Raven. The Raven is a fantastic option for fighting them. And you can just like fly in and uh, drain their energy. Uh, also, a Raven's a good ally for Aegis because they can like help with the resupply, but your energy is everything, so be careful with it. Don't be uh, scared of ignoring missiles that are incoming, just putting your transference shield up instead of flak. Very rarely should you use flak as an Aegis unless you're just fired your projector and, or your particle accelerator, sorry, and you know you're not going to be needing anything else and you're about to die and you want to keep that off. Um, yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you're watching this at the time it's been uploaded, by the way, then tomorrow there's going to be a Sins of the Silver Empire livestream. I'll be doing it with my fans and viewers and stuff, so if you're there you can hop along. Um, it might be a bit too late to join on the day, we'll see what we're doing. Uh, but you can definitely watch, it'll be uploaded to YouTube afterwards, or it'll stay on YouTube afterwards I guess. Uh, just pop along, 8 o'clock, uh, GMT, on myself and Space Monkey's channel. So I hope to see you there. If you're not here for Sins, then I'll see you in the next episode.